This is going to be a demo of how to use the wind shuttle for journal entry with workflow. So we've already got a script and spreadsheet published to Central. So we're going to start with um, submitting the spreadsheet to Central for, for review. So the first thing we're going to do is log in to our Central environment, which we had already logged in. And we're going to open from Central our worksheet that has been published. And so we have one here called FB50 test that's ready for use. So we're going to select it and open. And then this is where we want to enter our data into our template. So you can see here it says ready for use. So we're going to go ahead and just populate the fields. I'm just going to populate the fields I know I need to populate. And for those fields that are set up, you can use switch back over to Wind Shuttle for journal entry. You can use the list values. And so here, if you don't know what the debit credit indicator is, we can click. We have a defined list here, and we can pick S for debit. Um, we're going to enter the amount, and if we don't know the company code, we can also do a list values. This is going to go and open up SAP, and I'm going to do a filter here and look for company code 1000. Select it, click the green check. And now my company code's in here. So now I'm going to go ahead and fill out one more row with my journal ledger. Again, pick my credit, my amount, and also my company code. Okay, now I'm ready to validate this information, so I'm going to click the Validate button, and it's going to want me to save a copy of this um, spreadsheet before doing that. So we'll just save it out here, test 5, Then it's going to go ahead and run just to make sure that the spreadsheet validates, and this is just with the rules within the spreadsheet. And it does, and it also checks to make sure that the, the uh, journal entry balances. So the next thing we're going to do is actually take this worksheet and bounce it up against SAP to make sure it validates and it simulates it with POST in SAP. So if there's any in issues with POST in SAP, this is where I would see it now. So we're going to go ahead and do a simulate. So you can see it's going through here. Both of the simulate columns came back with success, so this would actually post in SAP if we were to post it. So this is ready to be submitted to Central. If I needed someone else to review this spreadsheet and give approval, then I could submit this to Central and assign a reviewer, and then from there, they could approve it or reject it. So let's go ahead and submit to Central. It asked me if I have any supporting documentation I want to send with this um, workbook. I'm going to say no. And it comes back and tells me the file um, was su submitted successfully. So now what I need to do is I need to open up this file and select the person I want to review it. So. We're going to go back to open from central, but instead of looking at the templates, I want to look at the data files. So we're going to go back up a, a directory to the data file folder, and we call this one FB50 test5. It says work is in progress, so I'm going to open that. And then this is where I'm going to want to select my reviewer for this spreadsheet. 
And so you can see the status here. And you can click this as one way to get in there. You can also go back to your journal, Windshuttle for journal entry, and you can click My Actions. And this is just going to pop up the screen. Who do you want to review this? And I'm going to go ahead. Um, right now, I am the um, Windshuttle admin account, but I'm going to go ahead and select myself and hit complete. And so now it's been assigned and it's ready for data review. Now I'm signed in right now as the central admin, so I wouldn't be able to see my task, but I can go ahead and click on review here just so that I don't have to sign out and back in. And from here, it's going to open up a browser window. And I can see right here where Elisa Vadla was selected for the journal approver. So I'm going to click edit. Normally, I would have been signed on as myself, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a comment here. Complete the task. Once I've approved that task, then now this spreadsheet is ready for run. And me as the runner or the developer, depending on how you have your system set up, could actually run this into SAP. And you will notice that um, once it's been approved for running, no changes on the spreadsheet can be made. So once it's been approved, it's locked down. If I do change one of these amounts or columns, um, it will ask me to save it, and then it won't allow me to run it. So we're going to go ahead and do a post here. This is going to push this data as is into SAP. See the log cell coming back. Give it a second to refresh. And now you can see the log field, and you can also see the posting result cells cell, um, which shows you what company code, what year it posted in. So now the last thing I need to do as the person running this is just go ahead and mark this as being completed. That'll pull it out of my task list. So I'm going to say this is completed. And then this will now say status of completed. And that concludes this demo.